Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't really done a talk through get ready with me in I don't know how long and I'm just feeling rather chatty today. And I also have some new makeup that I recently bought so I kind of want to do like a, a first impressions, get ready with me, come chat. Let's just pretend like we are all getting ready to go out together, okay? So as you can see, face is clean. Face is clean. I have been really, really enjoying the Ombre Elise Moisturizer. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops, but these are like oil drops. You know how they came out with the pure concentrated pigments for like foundations? They have an oil version of that now, which I've been loving, even though my skin is not as dry as it was a few weeks ago. So what I do is I mix a little bit of Ombre Elise with that oil. And I'm only really dry normal around the mouth area, even though I'm being very serious. As you can see, my skin is not dry. I'm super oily and shiny, but I like it because it's the Radiance one. So you guys know I love me some Charlotte Tilbury. And I was canoodling down Nordstrom's yesterday and I found the Mini Miracle Eye Wand. It's supposed to be like a duo eye cream and a corrector. So first you apply the little cream underneath the eye. Then the opposite side is a, oof, well, it's all over my hands now. It is a corrector. It's supposed to be like another version of Peach Luster, which I use in pretty much all my tutorials. So not only am I going to use it under my eyes, but I'm going to use it as a corrector. Why not? It's peachy salmon. Ooh, it tingles. What the hell is that? Ooh. That's, that literally tink. Oh, that is really tingly. Oh my God. There's something in here that's really, really, really tingly. I'm gonna rub it all over my eyelid. I have no known allergies, so I'm curious as to what the hell that is. And then I've been getting acquainted with Mr. Contour Sponge lately. Some new little gadget I'm using. I'm gonna blend that out. It doesn't, it does, it feels okay now. It feels better. Then I'm gonna cancel my spots. Hopefully it'll burn those off. I've never had a product feel like that ever on my skin, Lord Jesus. So I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who came out to BeautyCon New York, not that you came there to see me. I've never had that kind of a turnout at any kind of event. Like I wasn't having a formal meetup, but you would've thought I was, the amount of people. Like I got stuck in the same spot for like a couple hours. It's just amazing to see like the fruits of my labor like really starting to show and um, inspire people on a much larger scale. I'm using the Makeup Forever primers, by the way. I probably could have gone in and out of BeautyCon faster, but um, it, I was just truly enjoying getting to know you guys, speaking with you guys, chatting with you guys, laughing. You guys are so amazingly funny. You guys are stylish. You guys are inspiring. You guys, ins you guys think I inspire you? You guys inspire me. Anyway, I'm saying all that to say that I had so much fun getting to know you guys. I really, truly did. Everybody who came, and um, had a good time, whether we met or not. I really hope that you guys enjoyed yourselves and were able to meet all of the people that you wanted to meet. Next stop is gonna have to be BeautyCon London. It was my first time doing an East Coast show and it turned out really, really well. I had so much fun. It's probably one of the most inspiring ones. I never have to go anywhere because I live in LA. Everybody comes here, but I'll definitely have to branch out and start doing the international shows because that was unlike anything I've ever experienced. So thank you so much that every, to everyone who came and introduced themselves and um, I hope that you guys had a good time. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I also, while I was at the Charlotte counter, I also picked up her, the Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick. So it's supposed to be like a spot treatment stick, which is actually kind of cool. You just throw this in your bag and same thing, it has the twist up. I bought two of them because they said that you can wear them as foundation and concealer. So I'm gonna try that out today. I bought shade 10 for all over face, and then for my under eye, I have shade 9. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is these do seem a little oily in consistency. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs. This is the, the face one brush. I like the big, you know, that short little fluffy one that I use. I like that one so much that I went out and bought another one. It is completely unnecessary to have a $70, $80 brush, I know. But I really do, really, really am loving Mark, 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 Mark Jacobs products. Ooh, this blends out quite nicely. You know what, I think I'm gonna wet it with my $3 wedding spray. <laughs> okay, Charlotte, this looks nice. Really velvety. So far, coverage is perfect. I always find out by looking at a photo. Whenever I apply too much foundation, it looks ash arilla. 
Oh God, oh my God, this is so rich and beautiful. It's a little red, but I don't mind it. It's really, really, really pretty. Whoo! Oh my God. I can't, I, like, how am I gonna put powder on that? That is beautiful. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Like, am I having this moment on my own? I hope that you guys see what I'm seeing. Then I'm gonna take the flat. I like the fact that there's a flat side of the sponge. This is really, really good for large surface areas. I'm gonna take a teensy, teensy, teensy bit of a translucent setting powder. This is the Sasha Buttercup, and I'm just gonna barely tap over it on the center of the forehead. We still have to apply concealer, so we don't wanna get too overzealous. And then just pretty much only in the center of my face, because I really like the finish around here. It didn't cover up my spots completely, but I'm okay with that. You guys know how I am. Like I'm not constantly looking to achieve perfection. I'm just not. I don't mind if the spots show through a little bit. And the only thing I don't particularly care for about this one is there's not really a good in-between shade. Like I feel like this one's obviously lighter than my skin tone, but I don't know if it's light enough to be a highlight. It's really nice. It's really natural. But I think this may be too rich for under eye. I don't know. Okay, let me do the other eye. Let me let me just let me just calm down, okay? I'm going back to Europe this week and I'm so excited. Because most of you guys that follow me know I have, yeah, it's definitely not a highlight, but whatever, we'll make it work. So anyway, most of you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with Paris. Not going to get into it. It's too long of a story. Um, Paris is just like, Paris is like the East Coast. It's like either you kind of fit or you don't. You know what I'm saying? It's like some people don't like LA and that's fine. Um, so I have a love-hate relationship with Paris, but I'm going back to Paris and by the time this video is uploaded, I'll probably either already be there or already have um, <clears throat> gone on to my next destination. But I'm definitely going to be having a meetup while I'm there. I get mad love from my European followers, like so much love. So I have to go back. Like I was just surprised when I went two years ago that there were people there that were willing to meet me when I went there. So I'm intrigued to see. If I coordinate something now, just what the turnout would be like, I think it would be so much fun. And um, everybody that I met was like really kind and sweet. And I keep up with actually all of the girls that I, I with the exception of like one, I believe. But um, yeah, all of the young ladies were just so sweet. Okay, so my skin is looking very skin like, and I'm kind of digging it. Like the concealer is not all that light, and it doesn't have the greatest coverage. I could probably really go in on this a little bit more than I did. I really like the fact that this sponge is, cause the Beauty Blender is bomb for blending out concealer. You guys know how I feel, but it doesn't always really get in the sharpest of corners in that inner eye. So you kind of have to improvise, but this one really has a nice pointed edge. So you know the drill, I'm gonna set now with my Sasha Buttercup Loose Powder. The one that I used earlier was the pressed version. I'm sweating. I have new, oh my God. If this is not the most perfect matching, wow. I'm always like so jealous of those girls that can't, that can get away with wearing a foundation without really setting it with powder. Because sometimes foundation on its own just looks so freaking good. This is the It Cosmetics Universal Brow. They just launched like, I believe seven new shades. And I did a sponsored video. Before this one goes up, you'll probably see that one first. But I did a video on them. And I actually do really, really like this one. And I'm taking this one with me to my travels. Not only am I going to Paris, but I'm also going to Iceland. That is so random. Yes, black people travel to Iceland. I'm really excited. It wasn't my idea. It was, um, it wasn't my idea. I heard it was supposed to be super, super like breathtakingly gorgeous. So we're gonna go and I just hear it's like off the chain. I've never met anyone that's been to Iceland that had anything negative to say about it. I try to go to places where people wouldn't typically think to travel. Like that's what I get a kick out of, you know? So we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna go for it and do it. This is the KBB brow powder. I will list everything down below because I'm gonna keep this more chatty than focusing. It's not really about the products. It's just about us getting to know each other. So this is the It Cosmetics Dark Brown Universal Brow, which is so perfect on my skin tone right now. Now I'm taking that highlighting shade 
of the Charlotte Miracle Wand or whatever it's called. And I'm sculpting under the brows. And then I'm just setting these with my KBB brow gel. I'm gonna take this black eye pen. This one is the Jouer Cream Eyeshadow Crayon in Abstract. By the way, oh, is it called Abstract? Yes, it's like a dark brown black. No, it's black. It's like a glittery black. By the way, Jouer, our new friends at Jouer, a newer brand I've been getting acquainted with, was actually kind enough to open up a, I believe, 15% off coupon code for us. I've been putting it in the description box of all my recent videos. I think it's Jackie 1 or Jackie 15. It might be Jackie 15. So anytime I have any type of like current coupon or discount code, always be sure to check out the description. And I will probably always have something with Sasha. Always be sure to use whatever coupon code I have with them as well. I'm going to take this Too Faced palette. This is from their holiday collection. Um, I don't think the palette has a name, but it comes in the set of three. I am going to be doing a video. I've decided to do a collective holiday palette video. I've listened to your requests. And um, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's have some fun with this. I got to finally visit one of the states I've always wanted to visit. Little old ATL. I went to the... Um, I can't remember what their little like hashtag is called, but I finally got to see a Sam Fine seminar and it was with Sam and Rennie Vasquez, which I had the pleasure of being Rennie's model when he did the um, Beauty and the Beat, is that what it was called? When him and Tatiana come, came to LA, I was Rennie's model. So it's like I took a class with Rennie once, but I didn't really take the class because I didn't get to watch. So this was my first time actually getting to see Rennie work and I've met Sam on several different occasions and he is like, honestly, like, I'm just going to come out and say it and people can think of it however they want. You know, in, in every industry, there's people that are not that nice. There's people that are, you know, full of themselves and especially in this beauty industry, you know, you go to events and you meet people that have 300,000 subscribers, 400,000 subscribers. And sometimes they're not that nice. And I just can't understand why this internationally recognized man that easily makes more than three grand a day. Um, you know, it's like if he can be humble and nice, like no one else. There's no reason why everyone else can't. I don't understand. Being nice really is a good look. Like being... This eye is so messed up, but whatever. No one's photographing me today. Side note, I'm really, really enjoying this palette. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I First, I took the skin tone color and blended that in my crease and then under eye. Now I'm taking this black shade and I'm going in on the top half. So anyway, what I was trying to say, oh, let me lay down more powder before I make that decision. I met so many of you guys that recognize me. That was kind of cool. Which is, kind of, it's also kind of awkward because it's like, I don't want to steal, I don't want to steal anybody else's shine, but it's really cool when I get to meet people who watch my videos. So I tried not to, not saying that anyone did that, but yeah, I try to, I try to kind of be the behind the scenes gal. But it was fun, man. People are in, Adla in Atlanta are mad dope. I feel like this went from, oh, I'm running errands to um, I'm going to the trap house very quickly because I'm looking some type of sultry. I'm going to take some gold from the palette and put that on the innermost, inner, inner, innermost corner of my eye. I'm going to add five coats of Better Than Sex. Stuff gets your lashes so freaking thick. It's insane. So thick that everybody else in the room is so uncomfortable. I'm going to use my Sasha Matte Me Brown. Matte Brown. I don't know what. Matte Brown. It's from Sasha, okay? It's the Sasha Matte Brown. And obsessed, obsessed. Like literally, I was doing everything inside of me to try to stop me from buying more of these brushes from Tarte. But this brush, oof, if, I, if this isn't the best... In my humble opinion, contouring brush out on the market right now, I don't know what is. I really don't. It's so good and I usually stay away from any type of like overly structured brush around the cheekbones because I already have a narrow face. I don't need much structure at all. Okay, you guys are going to think I'm so freaking weird, but this Marc Jacobs brush literally smells like goat. Y'all know what goat smells like. That smells like like... 
something my dad would cook. That smells like goat, but whatever. For a while, this blush from Black Up was like my everyday, 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 everyday blush. This is number nine. It's just a really nice topaz. What? What? Um, I would describe this as like an apricot. Apricot? I haven't decided how I want to pronounce that word permanently. So I'll just say apricot. Ladies and gentlemen, Morphe E3, one of my favorite blush brushes ever. I just want to have a quick moment for this next product I'm going to talk about. When I bought it, I didn't know that I would like it as much as I did. And I wore this in my fashion haul and everyone was like, what did you hi Like everyone ev rarely ever notices my highlight. I have most of these shimmering skin perfectors from Becca. I eventually would like to own all of them because I have yet to try one that I really just don't like. But those of you guys that recommended Opal, this highlighter, I don't know how they got this to work because when you look at it, you think it's going to be too light, but it's like, I don't know what, like, what are they putting in their highlighters at Becca? Because there's just, it just makes the skin look buttery. Like, come on, bruh. Bro, let's talk about it. I'm putting on a lot. You don't have to put on as much as me. That's okay. I'm going to set my makeup with a setting spray. I've been using the D-Slick from Urban Decay for quite a long time now. This is almost empty. I think this is a sample size. So I'm probably going to go out and buy the full size one. I'm taking my good old trusty LA girl. Wow. <laughs> Got a little excited there. Um, this is Coco. And the semi-permanent eyeliner, lip liner. Is it just me? Am I just having a moment? But like, I can't get over how pretty all of this. I mean, I'm good at makeup, but damn, y'all. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Pepper and Honey Lipstick. My favorite nude peach. And then I'm going to add a little bit of gloss because I'm kind of getting sick of always having mattes on. And this is Jouer. It is their lip gloss in the shade Tender. It's a nice peach color. I apply just a teensy bit of that in the center. Take my hair down and show y'all the final product. Okay, so hair is done. Everything's looking and feeling fleeky. I love the way, I love the way hair completely changes a person, like completely. But anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this get ready with me chit chat. I have really enjoyed getting the chance to kind of catch up with you guys. And um, quick thing that I do want to mention is if you are in Paris and you would like to have a meetup, um, please be sure to make sure you follow me on Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram as well because those are like the quickest ways that I can like give you daily like hourly updates on stuff like that. So if you would like to possibly meet up and mingle with not only me but just like amazing people because all of my followers are amazing. So you can Walk away hopefully with a new friend if you come out. So um, yeah, be sure to follow me on all those platforms so you can get updates on times and location and dates on all of that. And if by some rare instance you're in Iceland watching me and you wanna have an Iceland meetup, I mean, we can do that too. I mean, I'm down with it if you are. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.